Hello gamers, this is DNH and welcome back to Skyblock Quick Carpet. So uh, I'm still on version 1.14.4 uh, and today, uh, probably the first thing that you might notice is that I got a new keyboard. Uh, it's a Logitech G Pro. Uh, it's the, one of the older versions with the uh, Gateron uh, switches. I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, I've been wanting to go back to a mechanical keyboard, and actually, I want to spend some time really um, exploring mechanical keyboards and getting uh, maybe better, doing lubing switches and, and getting silent switches and doing O-ring mods. I, I actually had a previously a, um, a uh, Razer Black, was it Black Widow? Um, Ultimate uh, silent keyboard where I put some O-rings on it, but it was still pretty loud. Um, and I didn't really like the way that it felt. I didn't really like the font on it. I still have that keyboard actually in a, in a drawer, but, um, I, I like this one a lot better. It's not quite as noisy, even just out of the gate. Although you can probably tell the difference because previously I was using a, uh, Logitech, um, illuminated keyboard, which I very specifically picked because it was quiet. And, uh, mainly that was important to me at a point in time when I was, uh, you know, in an office that was very close to, uh, it was kind of an open air office to the living room. And so the family was having to hear the keyboard and stuff. Plus, um, you know, there's some bedrooms and stuff kind of near the office. So I didn't want people to, uh, have too much noise. And so I picked it specifically for being quiet. It's been very silent. It's been, been very good, but the typing experience that I've had on this on uh, mechanical keyboards is far better. And so I want to kind of try to combine both of those things. But that's kind of a longer goal. I'm starting with this uh, this Logitech G Pro and it's pretty good. I'm liking it. Uh, it is a little noisy, but not hopefully not too bad. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm I'm using right now. And I have recorded one of the classic gaming episodes already uh, with it. Uh, I was playing Space Quest 2 with it, although you will probably see this video well before you see that Space Quest 2 video, because I have, uh, also Maniac Mansion to post as well, so I have kind of a little bit of a backlog of, of those type of, uh, videos, so, um, yeah, you'll probably see this well before you see, uh, the the video for Space Quest where I use this keyboard. So hope uh, everybody's doing okay. Um, so one of the things that I I kind of wanted to talk about, kind of wanted to do today, is I'm going to do kind of the daily grind. Um, over the Christmas break, I mentioned I think I mentioned that in a Skyblock episode previously. I don't know, but I didn't get a lot of chance to record. Um, I had some chance to play on this map, and I grinded a lot of, uh, of various, again, uh, I have tons and tons of carrots, I grinded, uh, I think it goes, it goes to there, but I have tons and tons of materials, and, um, you know, just because I had a little bit of time where I could jump on, I could mine some cobblestone, I could do some stuff, but I didn't have time to record or do a time lapse. Hopefully you saw the last time lapse, by the way, so I'm finished with, this is... Well, and I, I'm going to I'm going to get there. Oh, and it's going to get dark. Shoot. OK, well, that's fine. I'm hurrying. I'm going. Um, hopefully I can get a little bit of trading done before these guys go to bed. Uh, I mean, I guess if not, I can just probably go to bed in one of these beds. But um, let's see. All these guys are pretty much gold level, but that's fine. Um, this guy has some uh, glass that he's selling. Uh, I am trying to uh to separate out the people that have glass. Oh, he also has quick charge, though. Three, that's pretty good. And only for 11... Um, quick charge three for 11. Is three the highest on quick charge? I don't know. You know, I, I need to learn more about a lot of these newer enchantments. But uh, uh, multi-shot, that's pretty good. Um, I think that's only a crossbow enchantment, though. But uh, let's see if I can level this guy up to get another um i don't think he'll probably he's not quite up there uh to get another enchantment yet but uh let me trade with him um projectile protection four that's pretty good uh, i'm gonna need to actually i probably should lock him in by buying uh there is a guy who i think did um uh oh they're all gonna go to bed no 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 and i can't rest yet okay that's fine uh, are all these beds going to be full? Yeah, I think I bred them up enough that they're all full. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, I need to separate these these guys out and stuff too, but that's okay. 
Uh, I'm pretty positive uh, there are beds open in here, because usually these rooms, yeah, they only have like three people in here. Uh, okay, it's getting night. That's fine. So um, I so I did get a chance to to play and to grind a little bit, and um, I kind of want to do a little grinding in this episode, and there's a, a partially a reason. So I mentioned the last time I want to build a more automated cobblestone generator, and the thing about Skyblock uh and uh okay there oh efficiency five wow 56 hmm. oh the, yeah that was the guy that i i did trade with him um with bookshelves to lock him in on efficiency five uh i remember that okay um that was the multi-shot guy uh okay people i can't even uh, the, uh ah, people all right you're you're all bunched up you're all just forget it too much to do ah you try to get out um, um, yeah, so over here I did lock away, uh, all these guys have glass, uh, trades. Oh, and one guy has step strider. Hmm. Uh, I don't, I don't ever remember some of these things. <laughs> uh, okay, well, there's some overflow of paper. Let me, um, let me just trade with some of these guys, too. Uh, so... So, I want to build a cobble, an automated, more automated cobblestone generator. Here's the deal with that, okay? Um, I... Uh, okay. He's pretty close to, uh, okay, um, let me, uh, get a little bit out here. Is it this one? Uh, he's pretty close. Not that, I don't think the last trade they have is, is, um, I think it's always a name tag, right? Uh, where did you go? Uh, name tag. Your name tag. I think it's always a name tag. So does this guy have a name tag? Yeah, they're all name tags. Okay. Uh, so I don't know that it, it matters to ever get them to diamond level uh, because I have the name tags that I, I need. Uh, let me leave some of that up there. Okay. So um, I want to make a, a, an automated cobblestone generator. And the thing about Skyblock is, look, up to this point, I have mined 100% of everything you see. Every piece of cobble, every piece of stone that I... I, sp I mean, everything that you see has been mined by a pick. Where are the statistics? Um, and I think I looked at it at one time. Uh, I was at like 140,000, 140,000 um, uh, sugar cane, um, 156,000 carrots. Uh, ridiculous. Uh, there was a, so 152,000 potatoes, 10,000. Where's another huge number? Another 30, 29, 35. Um, cobblestone, uh, mm, I'm missing, uh, uh, okay, uh, yeah, 200 and, uh, 215,000, 211,000, I've mined some with a diamond pick too, basically 215,000 blocks of, uh, cobblestone I've mined. Every single thing so far that you've seen uh, in these videos, I have mined by hand. And, and partially that's amazing. Partially that's what makes some of these skyblocks interesting. I mean, look at all of these huge things that I've built. And to have mined every single block by hand, like, that's somewhat impressive, right? Uh, but at the same time, I have even bigger plans than this. Way bigger plans than this. And it's getting to a point where it's really difficult to um to get all of the resources that i want to get in order to do the things that i want to do right and i come over here and i mine up all of these uh, i get the paper and see the thing is i could make a zero tick farm which generates uh paper and and sugarcane way more quickly it would take up way less space than this this one that's right here and um i could make it over actually maybe underneath the library that's over there and so then I wouldn't have to transport the sugar cane that far. Um, I could make paper a lot easier and trade with those people much, much easier. Um, so, yeah, is that taking advantage of some of the mechanics? Yeah, but it's vanilla mechanics. And, uh, you know, it's something that I'm considering. Pro I'm probably going to do it. I'm, I'm be honest with you. I'm probably going to do it just because, you know, yeah, that then uh, I mean, I feel like I've achieved what I can achieve at this level. Let's kick it up a notch. Um same thing with the cobblestone, right? It's like, okay, um, I I have mined a ton of cobblestone, but if I want to build really, really large things, 
that's another time sink. And if I make a cobblestone generator where I glitch TNT to drop onto um, uh, just drop onto five or six or seven um, generated uh, I, I, uh, cobblestone lines, then I could really get, like, I could get a chest of cobblestone just standing around for 15 minutes um, and versus getting, you know, about five or six stacks of actually actively mining for the same amount of time. And look, honestly, so far, I haven't mined the mining because, like I said, I can just jump in whenever and just kind of do it when I'm, I have a little downtime. Uh, I can put a television show or a Netflix or a YouTube on the other, uh, on the other uh, monitor that I have and uh just go ahead and do it right no big deal i i have fun doing that and partially that does kind of connect me more to the world i can kind of just jump in and have a lot of fun with you know i can spending time in the world even doing busy work stuff like this is kind of nice because then i spend time i see what's efficient or what's not efficient i see oh maybe i'd like to build something over there or build something over there i get i get to uh decide um, what kind of stuff I want to utilize or what kind of stuff I want to do more or not, uh, more of. So, uh, you know, it can be a lot better, uh, doing that. And, um, and, and there's some amount of that that I might lose if I build an automated, uh, cobblestone farm or an automated iron farm. So far, I have a fair amount of iron that I've just had by kind of running around and slaying the iron golems that happen to spawn. And making an automated farm does kind of get it to where it's, you know, you have less uh, kind of connection to that. But that's fine. Um, I'm really at a point where I think that is the next step for me um, on this map is to kind of make those automated farms to really gather up larger amount of resources and, uh, and then, yeah, utilize them to build uh, kind of even more impressive things. Because look... Uh, and boy, the, the chickens really spawn up a lot. So then I, I collect potatoes and I run over here. I probably shouldn't jump while I run, right? Is that, uh, is that nauseating for people? I don't know. So then I come to these guys and they, uh, you know, allow me to trade with them. Um, I can get tons of, uh, of equipment that way. Uh, tons of emeralds that way, rather. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, so these guys in this first one... Uh, primarily we'll both trade potatoes. I need to get another potato guy in here. And I have just really generically farmers in here. And this one also trades pumpkins. But I kind of want to separate people by like, oh, these are good guys for um, potatoes. And in here, I want to get it to where these guys are better for carrots, I guess. And, and for the most part, they are. Like, that guy's carrots. That guy's uh, pretty good for carrots. Um, although he'll do potatoes too. Uh, the other guy uh, in here is amazing for carrots. Uh, he also is good with wheat, but I don't generally trade wheat. Um, so, yeah, there we go. And uh, so there we go. Uh, is that Yeah, so that guy's great for carrots and pumpkins, too. One on the pumpkins, that's great. So, um, yeah, and then I take and get some uh, some of those, and then I come back over here. You know, and just grind it out. And it's it's kind of, I, I have fun with it. You know, I have fun connecting with uh, Minecraft. I have fun connecting with the various items. So then I go over here to the next uh, area. And uh, I mine this up. Okay, so then I've uh, mined that up, and I'm going to have to go to sleep here again, because it's uh, getting to be nighttime, so I'll go into my normal bed. Uh, I need to rem do better about letting the cats go. Uh, I usually make them sit, because then otherwise they teleport to me, but if I have them standing, uh, then they can drop something. See, like, that cat uh, dropped some string, which is good, but then I do have to be careful about making sure that I reseat them. Uh, cause they look like they're sitting, but then if I walked away, they wouldn't be. So, um, there we go. Uh, but they drop nice things. String is very important, actually, because, um, there we go. I don't have a ton of it. Um, and they drop the uh, rabbit hides and things like that. Another thing that I need to start collecting more of. Um, 
I'm going to move the llamas too. I just have them in this pen right now, but I'm going to actually probably tie one or two of them to the front, uh, like right here. Uh, and then um, maybe have a pen for one of them out behind one of these houses. Uh, are you the good guy? No, but you're fine. I mean, uh, I'll get to the other one pretty quick here. Uh, huh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, oh, okay, oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, uh, here's the great one, 17, um, really good trades on you. And in fact, uh, even, um, uh, you can get down to 16, too, um, if you, uh, uh, if you keep, keep at him some, but, um, there we go. Uh, okay. And that should be all. Uh, they should refresh. Um, see, he's at 16 now. Um, sometimes they don't walk over and refresh, but that's fine. Um, okay, so then I, I take back these, and uh, here's the carrot air. I'm never going to stop bouncing. That's just part of me. And then uh, let me move it over there. And then I come over and uh, I do the next section, which is the wheat and the uh, seeds. All right, so here's the thing about the wheat and the seeds. Generally speaking, what I do with these is um, I will take and use uh, seeds breed up chickens. So I will take and breed up chickens. Um, and then I will take uh, like with two stacks or three sacks, and then I will take two or three stacks and breed up cows. But look at the number of chickens I have already. And honestly, it's even kind of lagging the game a little bit right now. And so when it gets to be that many, I just kind of put stuff away. And I go do the, is it this one? Yeah. Uh, I go do the slaughtering uh, um, of those, and then I restart the the um, the egg spitter. So I will come in here and get, uh, is it this one? Yeah, I will get the sword um, of, uh, so there's a loot, this is a looting sword. Uh, looting three, but I also added mending to this, so it basically never breaks. Uh, you know, I kill so many things that it basically just mends itself. So I'll come in here, uh, start swiping away. Okay. And, uh, yep, start collecting tons of, uh, and I'm already picking up tons of eggs. Shoot. So, um, there, and, whoa, 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 okay. So, uh, let me go over here. All right, uh, okay, and there, 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 boom, boom, um, boom, boom, okay, that's fine, and, uh, yeah, I'll start to, uh, I'll start to pick up more, so, and I just didn't come in, slaughter these guys, I mean, you, you won't believe how much chicken and feathers I will get with this looting sword, plus all of these tons of guys in here, uh, it's gonna be crazy. And see, the sword doesn't even really take damage. I mean, it takes damage briefly, but then it heals itself from all the tons of XP. All right, I'm already full up. And look at all these XP orbs and stuff. So uh, I'll just kill these guys because I'm coming out here. And I'll kill you because you're standing there. All right, and then I come over here. Okay, uh, this one, chicken... Uh, and I usually like to move, there we go, and then put that there. Uh, this one over here, and there we go. Perfect. And then come back and just do it again. How'd you get out there? Okay, so uh, I've gotten all of the chickens killed. Uh, so then I'll just run around, pick up the eggs, and put those in the uh, egg spitter.
So many eggs, so much chicken. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Um, and then <clears throat> if I want to breed them up again, I turn this on. I sometimes have been avoiding doing that just because it kind of lags the game a little bit to have that many chickens, but I think I will go ahead and breed them up again right now. Um, so yeah, that, I just turned that on. Uh, look at how much chicken I got out of that, though. Amazing amounts. And feathers, um, all I could want. And then even some extra, um, see, and then it'll just spit those eggs out. Um, even have some extra here, so I'll, I'll put them in this, uh, in this container. Okay, then I'll do the same thing with the cows. Again, I, I, I would have been breeding them up with the, uh, with the hay. So I'll come over here with the looting sword and boom with the cows. Okay, so with the cows, I clearly don't want to kill them all like I did with the chickens because they need to continue to exist and breed. So I usually just kind of walk around and, until I feel like there's not as many cows left until I've kind of thinned everything out. And then I will just kind of walk through one more time and try to pick up and make sure I get all of the uh, meat and leather that gets dropped uh, from this looting sword. Uh, and I also try to stay away from the pig area and the sheep. Um, so yeah, let's see what I get leather-wise. Uh, that was another good um, nine, nine or so stacks, uh, even more of uh, raw beef. Uh, great stuff. And then I'll even come in here with shears and uh, maybe hit the uh, sheep one time in here. Um, boom. And, uh, you know, just go a cycle around here. All of this is, all these sheep are just white wool. I haven't really done a whole lot with the sheep yet. But, uh, you know, I mean, you can dye wool too. So, uh, you know, coming in here, getting a lot of the, uh, of the wool that exists, not too bad. And uh, can be good. And uh, again, I'll just kind of run around a little bit, um, shearing all these, shearing them again when they eat until uh, I feel like I've really gotten uh, most of what's here. And I'm almost done with this set of shears here. Maybe I'll, uh, well, nah, it's fine. Okay, so yeah, it looks like they've slowed down. And, uh, you know, obviously if I wait around, they're going to still continue to eat uh, occasionally, but okay. And then, uh, oh, and then I put that back and then have another more than stack of wool. Okay, same thing. Go on to the next uh, round of things. This time, uh, I think I'll hit the uh, radishes and it's dark, but it doesn't really matter. I don't usually trade these. There are a couple of the farmers that will trade these, but uh, you don't get quite as much, kind of like with the wheat. So, uh, the carrots and the potatoes seem really good for trading with the farmers. That's oh, and the pumpkins I usually trade just because um, I have that guy who has a really insane. Oh, I didn't put my looting sword away. Has a really insane uh, pumpkin deal, uh, which is good. Uh, and so I will usually trade pumpkins. Um, and and you know all of the pumpkin deals are not too bad. So. Okay, once I get to the uh, pumpkins, I actually then do a row of the sweet berries because the two butchers trade sweet berries at, again, a very good rate. So the pumpkins and sweet berries, I really get some good rates. So then I come over here and uh, go up and down the row uh, once or twice and harvest them like this. Um, I, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I will also... Um, I do want now, like for the axe, uh, I'm going to ha harvest pumpkins with axe uh, because that's much faster. And I do need to trade up for better axes, like maybe combine a couple of them to get, because right now I have an efficiency too with nothing unbreaking wise. And um, I really would like to get one of those paper trading guys to give an unbreaking book uh, or even unbreaking three. That would be great. But uh, some kind of unbreaking book. 
would be good, but um, I haven't gotten there yet. Uh, now it's not that I'm that it's that cheap or not, it's not that it's that expensive to get axes and I'll show you you know I have a trader that gives me them for I don't know twenty some emeralds or whatever so uh, it's for a you know efficiency two axe it's not that bad and honestly my plan is to try to maybe get better blacksmiths or whatever the smiths are to try to get better. Um, uh uh you know weapons and tools and even uh start to get armor um i have separated those smiths out into some areas and i need to really start trading guys up and get you know better equipment which i haven't done yet but um you know uh, it's a process it's fine it's fine uh and i will probably start wearing armor i i know i don't know if i've talked about this but i've been kind of avoiding it because i do the time lapses some and so you're seeing my skin but um my uh minecraft skin but you know uh i think it's better to be protected i do occasionally get ninja attacked by some mobs although not really that riskily i mean i haven't died on this map in quite some time and really, most of the time I've died, it's because I've fallen off of something. So, although I think there was one time when I was cutting down uh, jungle trees and a creeper uh, exploded when I was in the top of a jungle tree and um, almost killed me, but then knocked me out of the tree. And so I ended up dying. Uh, but, you know, not there's not tons and tons of risk on these skyblock maps so that's fine because i keep them nice and lit and, and keep everything where it needs to be so uh yeah we'll see i um i do think that i might uh do something though to at least try to get better on breaking and combine because this could be i, I know it doesn't seem that slow harvesting those uh, or maybe it does to you, I don't know. But uh, it could definitely be faster if I had a much better axe. And if I spent time to really trade up an axe or spent more money um, combining axes or buying other axes, I would probably try want to uh, have it last a lot longer. So having Unbreaking 3 on a better axe, I think, would really improve things. Because then I'll go... Uh, one cycle of me doing uh, these harvesting and i'm gonna harvest the melons next and then um i usually harvest the cocoa beans not with the diamond axe but i make other axes just because they go really quick anyway although if i had an unbreaking on an axe i might actually use it to harvest the cocoa beans because having efficiency would go faster even though they go pretty quick even just with normal stone axes so uh yeah i don't know we'll see um so there was the one guy in here who traded uh, pumpkins, right? Uh, yep. And so I'll do that. It's pretty good. Um, and then there's a guy... There's a couple guys in here who do it. One of them that does it really cheap. Not that one. But this other one that's got... Uh, see, one pumpkin uh, per emerald. Spectacular. Uh, and you do trade pumpkins also. Um, not quite as good, but that's fine. And then I come over here across the way to the butcher shop. And I want to, I still need to put signs and do some decorating. Uh, both of these guys trade sweet berries. One of them does it at a really good rate. That's the guy that does it at a better rate. Uh, five. Uh, this guy, they're ten, but that's fine. That's still pretty good. I can get, um, uh, yeah, two stacks. And, uh, so yeah, there we go. I still want to decorate, uh, and like this one right here, you saw, uh, the countertops are a little bit nicer. I'm going to do that or that type of thing for these other, uh, these other ones. I just haven't done it yet. You know, there's, uh, there's all kinds of things you need to do. So yeah, uh, I have all these smiths and, and people, uh, I need to start trading them up and getting them to do better, but up in here... Uh, is where I have the best guys. So here's a guy that does efficiency axes. I'll get three of those. And he does efficiency picks. I'll get one more of those for right now. See, in that, you know, I had more than two stacks of, of uh, emeralds, so that kind of wiped out some of those emeralds. But look, honestly, I have tons of emeralds. It's fine. Um, and then I have some armor smiths over here. Uh, I, again, I need to trade up those guys. But 
Uh, also, problem part of the problem with them is they trade for coal usually, and I don't have access to coal. So look, I have tons of axes and things. Um, I guess I'll save that one there for right now. I have tons of axes, um, which is great. I so what did I have? Oh, pumpkins and sweet berries. So the pumpkins will come over here. Uh, put those right there. Um, and then, like, usually around here is also when I do the cactus harvesting, uh, just because I'm over here. So, and then that gives me 48. And I haven't found a tool that harvests cactus. Um, I mean, they harvest it, but not, like, faster, I guess. I don't know. What, what harvests cactus faster? I don't think anything really does. So, uh, and those are still spitting out uh, chicken eggs. That's fine. And so then I come over here. Uh, and I put the sweet berries away. Uh, I think I'm right here. Yeah, but I'm actually on to the next one. Uh, I'm over here already. Yeah, so in there. I didn't put the, uh, ah, crud. That's fine. That's fine. Um, and so I am to here. So then I will take and make, uh, three more axes. And I will use the stone axes to harvest um, cocoa beans. Because look, I, I mean, look how fast it goes anyway. Uh, although, again, if I were using the efficiency axe, uh, look, obviously it goes a lot faster. But again, with, without um, unbreaking on those, uh, it would just go, go way, way, way too fast. Uh, it would break way, way, way too fast. And so I harvest to, like, right here, um, where I have that line, and then, boom, I replant. That's going to be about a stack worth of that. Okay, so then I mine all that up, put the cocoa beans back, put one of the axes back, there we go. And then usually move on to the melons next, so there we go. So then typically with the melons, I will make at least one, if not two stacks of melon, um, just to, uh, I'll just make one this time and, uh, you know, just to kind of save, uh, some of the space. Now converting them, you, you take nine slices to make a melon and the farmers will actually trade for melon, whole melons, um, Although I haven't really been doing that, even though I might start because I'm starting to get a pretty good collection of melon. Uh, you notice I have those and then these uh, go all the way back to like there. Uh, so that's a pretty good amount. Um, and so let's see, let me put away this pick and the rest of these emeralds. Uh, boom, boom. Uh, now the, I'm almost done with the cycle <laughs> and I say almost, but there, so there's these guys right here. Um, and let's see what we got. So, uh, here we have, um, flesh and bone. Let's see. Okay, that was the uh, collecting of the mob drops there. Um, and let me save 16 arrows. I have infinity on my bow, so it really doesn't matter that much how many arrows I save, but you know. Um, and this is already pretty much ready to be collected again. We, we collected this at the beginning of the episode, but that was nearly an hour ago real time. There is some, it's not quite grown out here, but that's okay because there's still more things to collect. Um, so we have the bamboo, and bamboo is collected quickly with, um, uh, with swords, so what I usually do is, again, stone, because, uh, this is, like, pretty much instantaneous. 
Uh, it doesn't really matter uh, if it's a uh, diamond or iron sword, and that'd be a complete waste because uh, you see they break very quickly uh, durability-wise. But, um, I mean, it's just pretty much an instant hit as fast as I can walk around. It's harvesting through the uh, bamboo. So I will just take um, and get through these. And I just kind of S-curve in, getting two uh, rows each time. And then I'll go back in a little bit later and pick up... Uh, okay, I don't know why that was floating, but that's fine. And you saw right there that basically gave me more than a chest worth of bamboo. And like I said, this is the sugarcane is probably about ready to mine again. But the last thing that I would do on my cycle is, uh, well, is get the uh, the nether ward. I'll, I'll do some of that. But is uh, harvest the um, trees. So... Uh, again, not too bad nether wart. Now, uh, not necessarily on the cycle, but I do mine a lot of cobblestone, obviously, because I need a lot of it. But for the trees uh, in this cycle, I will come in and start with chopping down these ones right here. And after I do that, I jump over to one of these jungle trees. And uh, I mine the jungle trees by basically mining my way up them. I mean, this was the way that I learned how to do it. If you do uh, knock out three blocks in kind of a spiral uh, staircase thing here, uh, you can kind of mine your way up to the top of these. And uh, you just keep jumping in, in these 4 by 4 pattern circles uh, until you get to where you're at the top here. And then you just start mining out downward, um, making sure to knock out any, uh, okay, uh, there we go. Thought I heard something there. Gotta be careful sometimes, because, uh, creepers or skeletons or whatever will spawn, but then you mine your way down this circular, uh, uh, circular staircase that you made, uh, making sure to get rid of any branches that offshoot. Okay, and then you pick that up, and then uh, I come back through, and I can start to pick up the uh, drops for the uh, saplings, and then I'll start to replant those. Okay, that's replanted. Then I come to the uh, birch trees and do the same thing, basically. Okay, and then as I let those drop saplings, uh, I come to uh, the dark oak. Okay, then I move over to the spruce. Usually for the spruce, I mine, uh, I mine above the, leave one block down because then I can jump up if necessary. Uh, same thing with the acacia. I usually do the spruce and the acacia together uh, in that same way. I leave the bottom block and that way hopefully I can jump up high enough if necessary, but if I don't need it then I just mine out the bottom. Now, sometimes these trees do get a little taller where you have to kind of pillar up a little bit to get to the top. And honestly, it would be really nice if I could get better axes to take care of these because this, with an efficiency too, this is not the fastest thing in the world. Um, but I don't want, again, to combine too many axes uh, unless I, until I can get that unbreaking because... Um, there is a lot of work that would go into that, um, and usually this cycle I will use at least an entire axe, as you've seen, particularly because I'm using it on the, um, the pumpkins and the melons. Now, if I didn't use it there, 
uh, I could probably get away with a cycle and a half maybe or so of, um, of an axe. Uh, but still not necessarily worth it uh, for that cost. So I would rather uh, get a better trade on axes from the, uh, from the villagers or uh, hopefully get some kind of unbreaking book. I mean, that's kind of, I think, where it's going to be a little bit uh, more likely just because the... Um, uh, the trades for the axes, I don't know that I will get something quite that good. Uh, on this cycle, too, I will also, once it starts to get night, I will come and sleep because then I can pick up some of the other saplings that might be laying around in various areas. Um, plus, I can maybe collect a little bit more oak, which is kind of been my most used wood so far, so I uh, have a little bit more need for oak than the other woods. Uh, but also, as it gets dark, uh, hanging out in the trees more, there's a little bit of a risk of mob spawning um, just because of the darkness and that kind of thing. So I do like to uh, take a break when it gets to night. Plus, uh, there are times where if I don't pay a lot of attention because I don't get other mobs spawning on a skyblock, uh, you could start to get phantoms and things if you're not careful with um, the, the night cycles and if you're never sort of resting or sleeping. So then I'll come back and again, uh, now a whole bunch of saplings have fallen. Uh, same type of thing. Take those to there and start um, putting down these saplings. And then we have the um, acacia saplings and I take these to here and start putting those down. Okay. Um, and I get plenty of saplings out of all of these things, uh, so I've started to build up uh, pretty much a collection on saplings, so I'm pretty good with it. Okay, now um, I will go back to the jungle trees again and cut those down. Now you'll see there's some logs that I missed and things, but that's okay. I will uh, go back and get those. Um, uh, it's fine. And I mean, if a few despawn, it's probably fine, but I will usually uh, make another sweep um, and pick up those other ones. Plus more trees will probably have spawned, and so I'll cut those down. Really, the the uh, jungle trees are the ones that I predominantly don't replant very quickly um, and because they grow really tall and really usually really fast. Um, and so uh, they're a lot of work to cut down. Plus, jungle wood out of all of the woods is the one that I have the most of. Uh, and I use it a ton for... Um, charcoal i have burned a lot of jungle wood for charcoal and so it's clearly been good for that i'm not saying that's not great because you do have a lot of quick access to jungle wood but um basically uh i don't worry too much about uh about that uh replanting so i usually just plant all of the jungle trees uh right at the very end Plus, I like to give every opportunity for jungle saplings to drop from leaves because uh, the jungle trees are by far the stingiest when it comes to giving saplings. There are a lot of times where I'll cut these three trees down and I will go back several times and walk by where the sapling should have fallen and I might get 12 uh, to maybe sometimes 15 or 20 out of the three trees and I need at least 12. Uh, and there are even there have even been a few times where I didn't even get twelve and had to get them out of the uh, uh, out of the the box to get more. And in fact, right now, well, right now I have nine. So uh, out of basically one tree and maybe a little bit of the second one. Um, so yeah, I would have expected at least eight on that. Um, but yeah, so it is it can be hard to keep up with the jungle trees, but um, that's okay.
So I have 14 jungle saplings now. That's pretty good for the jungle trees. That's and uh, there should be some more falling. This might be, uh, you know, 20 or so, maybe even a little bit more uh, jungle saplings out of this group. So that'll be pretty good. Uh, you know, any amount that I can build up my collection of jungle tree saplings uh, is certainly going to help me because again, those are the stingiest. And sometimes I do uh, start collecting a full load of things, and so. Uh, if I start to get too much stuff, I will put uh, some of it away um, to try to clear up space uh, in here. All right, so once it looks like I've really cleared this area out again, like I did, I will go back through one more kind of final sweep, pick up uh, any loose kind of saplings that are here, um, make sure that I'm not leaving any wood this time, uh, because that's, in fact, I think there was one, um, no, I thought there was one wood in this, yeah, there it is. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, make sure I'm not leaving any wood. If I lose some saplings, that's fine. And then I will put away the saplings, put away the uh, the wood in the various chests. Um, and then once I've committed to that, like, uh, well, I and I still have the, uh, the spruce, so I guess I'll, I'll do this. But once I've kind of committed to that, I stop uh, going back and chopping down the trees um, because, I mean, they are just going to continue to grow. And see, then this, uh, there we go. And, all right, that should be it for the spruce. There we go. Um, I will come back over here, uh, put the spruce saplings away, put the spruce logs, spruce, spruce, okay. Um, I will put the uh, dark oak logs down. I ended up picking up a spruce sapling. Um, fine, here, great, <laughs> there we go, uh, and then dark oak, boom, 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 and dark oak saplings, see, I have less of those than anything, um, and then do a final run on the, uh, birch here, Now that the tree, oh hey, another cat spawn. Now that the trees have fallen down, it's not as important. That is a spawned cat, right? Yeah, he's not one of the tamed ones. Uh, it's not as important uh, to be that careful about um, mobs, although I still do have to worry somewhat about phantoms. Okay, I'll finally plant the jungle trees back. And then go the last sweep on my, um, on my oak wood. Okay, perfect. And so I'll put the remaining jungle saplings back. Uh, look at jungle logs. Again, I have tons of them. I already dropped off some of the oak logs, uh, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, oak saplings, I have these two chests already full. And then over here, I have apples. And over here, you saw I have sticks all the way up and down this whole thing. Um, so there we go. There we go. And that is the cycle. And see already oak trees growing, dark oak trees growing. Um, uh, you know, uh, trees are already growing again. So that all of a sudden, uh, I'll have a whole nother set before I know it. But um, yeah, that's, that's what I do to collect resources. I have a ton of resources, but I am very much so. This is probably done shooting eggs now, by the way. Um, once the chickens start growing, yeah, it's completely empty. You can hear it ticking differently. So I'll turn that off. Once the chickens start growing in there, uh, it's probably done. So um, they're laying their own eggs again, and it's uh, it's cycling. The cycle is starting over. The circle of life has begun. And this is like an hour and 20 minutes of game time worth of me collecting all of this stuff. 
and yeah, I mean, I can start doing the whole thing again. In fact, if I go up here uh, to this area right here um, and look, you know, half of these things are already regrown, but I'll usually do at this point, go into the cobblestone generator and break, you know, I don't know, uh, 25 or so picks worth of cobblestone, um, usually using stone picks and stuff. But I do, th I do still feel like as, as impressive as it is that I've mined several hundred thousand pieces of cobblestone and, uh, built all of these things that you see by that, that mine, I think I will do the automated cobblestone generator. I will, you know, because I, as, as, as much as I'm enjoying the stuff that you see in front of you right here, I have even bigger plans than this, and I don't want to be limited by uh, all the the lost cobblestone and just and just the sitting and mining. So, um, yeah, you know, it it is kind of what it is. Um, it's taking taking advantage of a glitch mechanic, but there are a lot of people in these skyblock maps that do it. Uh, and hopefully you'll still be impressed by the fact that I've placed every single block in this world. I mean, I'm not doing it in creative. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to utilize the, the mechanics in the game glitched or not to make that cobblestone generator. So, uh, you know, it just kind of is what it is. Uh, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit and talk about it a little bit and show you kind of the grind that I've been going through so far. And, and I, w but I will say this is a therapeutic grind and, and I have enjoyed it. I don't know. Uh, part of me does still want to just grind for cobblestone and, uh, keep it completely like that. But, uh, I really don't think that's going to happen. So anyway, I am going to go, but as always gamers have a good evening day and night. Minecraft time lapse mob traps world maps cat naps rap tracks perhaps you'll tune in and watch the hijinks and if you like click the up and subscribe links